Welcome back for another Indicator Technical Analysis. We've got a captivating one this week. Also, be sure you stick around to the end of the video. We have a surprise for you. If you're a regular, welcome back. If you've just found us for the first time, we're pleased you're here. There is no particular order of videos in this playlist, so you can browse at your leisure. We produce short technical analysis videos of indicators we blog about. The blogs can be found on the website. For your convenience, we've included the link in the video description. Once you've watched this video and read the blog, feel free to download the indicator from our library. That link is also in the description. We create these videos by recording about 8 hours of market data, usually during the Asian and European sessions, on the 1 minute chart. Then, we speed it up about 30,000 times to create moments of commentary through the trader's lens. As those interesting moments come to us, we'll pause the video, make comments about what we're looking at and why it's important before moving on. Feel free to pause the video if you need a few more seconds to study the signals. Our aim is to keep these short because you've got your own charts to work on. Thanks to all of you who have been submitting indicator ideas. Keep sending them to stonehillindicator at gmail.com for research, testing, and blogging. This week's technical analysis video centers on a bit of an odd indicator called the choppiness index. We tested it as a volume indicator, but in reality it's more of a volatility tool as it doesn't actually call up on trade or tick volume. The concept was developed by an Australian commodities trader named Bill Dreiss. Let's queue up the video and see what it looks like. We'll let price roll for a few minutes to get our brains on the same wavelength. Let's take this first close below our midpoint. By itself, the choppiness index signals that price is entering a trending condition. But we can't act on that alone. We need other indicators. Let's take a look at this screenshot of the signal with the baseline added. Notice that the baseline gave us the initial signal, but we needed to wait just a little bit longer for our volatility indicator to confirm. Now, we'll resume price action. That was a great rundown. Your exit would have been on the price retracement or when the baseline or other indicator gave the exit signal. On that next run to the upside, notice price action closed above the baseline and CI soon confirmed the trend condition. Check out that run at the exit. Lots of profit there. Let's watch price as CI indicates a non-trending state of the market before we let it run out for just a few more seconds. Given that this was our first volatility analysis, it went pretty well. Maybe it'll find its way into your toolbox. Did I mention that what we do here does not constitute financial advice? That's just not our thing. We want you to make your own decisions. After all, how cool would it be to trade for yourself while sitting on the beach sipping a frappe or perhaps a Mai Tai? It's not impossible, and it's been done by others. The best thing is that we've got the education to help you shorten the journey right here at Stonehill Forex. There are course graduates who are now prop traders. Check out the advanced course on the website, approved and endorsed by VP himself. We put out new material each week, and if you find it helpful, please consider leaving a 5-star rating on Trustpilot. This helps new traders find a safe place to learn how to trade. You can actually make a difference. Sign up for our periodic digest when you get a moment. We provide information on up-and-coming projects, what we've put out, and everything the busy trader needs to know. You can sign up right on the website for many of the blog pages or just click on the email list tab at the top of the page on our website. If you want to get the most recent digest, email dan at stonehillforex.com with the title latest digest please in the subject line. You'll have it within 24 hours. We're also on Facebook answering all kinds of Forex questions on Quora and of course putting out more YouTube videos on our channel. If you have time, browse the site read through the multitude of Forex related blogs and check out the resource pages and indicator library. We promise a surprise and we aim to deliver. A few of our subscribers asked us about the QQE indicator. We listened. We've created the blog and we'll be making the video this week. Keep checking the website for the bonus blog and of course you'll get notification of the video if you're subscribed. If you aren't subscribed yet, do it now so you don't miss anything else. Our only goal is to make you a better trader.